from Los Angeles, California, you're watching The Bobby Laurie Show. And now, here's Bobby. Hi there, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to the new Bobby Glory Show here on IFTV and BobbyGlory.com. Also on your Roku and Google TV. I'm so happy you decided to check it out. As some of you know, the previous Bobby Glory Show was a blog talk radio podcast, and I decided to ditch that because of the quality. I went out and bought a flip camera, which is what I'm recording this on right now, so that you can come along for the ride and see exactly what I used to talk about on the podcast. So in the first two episodes of, the, of my new video show, I'm actually taking you along for the ride with me as I travel to Tampa to film uh, a segment on daytime. But this time it's different because uh, Sarah and Galen of the in-flight team are also coming to Tampa to film, a, to film a segment as well. I'm doing one by myself and Sarah and Galen are doing a makeover segment. So you're going to see more behind the scenes of the makeover segment because I wasn't able to use the flip cam to record myself, obviously. So, uh, so come along for the right ride. now it's Monday the well, I don't know the Monday the tenth there we go at about eight fifteen p.m. and I'm gonna take a red eye flight on Delta tonight to Tampa nonstop from here which has me landing in Tampa at about seven o'clock in the morning now Galen and Carol aren't arriving from Miami until about two in the afternoon and Sarah's coming in from Houston at about four thirty so I pretty much have all day to kill in Tampa by myself after this red eye flight so I'm crossing my fingers that the Wyndham Tampa where we're staying and we're also hosting our uh, happy hour meet the in-flight team party there on Wednesday at, at 6 30 I'm hoping that they're gonna let me check in early so I can sleep before the team shows up yes I am leaving on a jet plane don't know if I'll be back again Alright, so I'm on my way to the airport now. It's uh, just about 8.40 p.m. I'm actually going to be kind of early. There is my phone. It's probably Galen. I'm probably going to be kind of early, um, which is a good thing because I uh, have never been to the Delta terminal. I've never really flown Delta. I've only been on Delta twice as a non-rep, though. And uh, I really don't know my way around LAX as it relates to Delta, so I want to make sure I'm getting there when I'm supposed to be and I'm on time and I'm not going to miss my flight because then this would have been a waste if I could have just gone in the morning. I might as well have just stayed home and slept. So once I got to the airport and I parked my car, I headed straight to the terminal. I managed to get through security quicker than expected, so I had some time to grab something to eat before I headed over to the gate for the dreaded red-eye flight to Tampa. It's about 7.30 in the morning. I just got off the red eye here in Tampa. I uh, am rendering myself pretty much useless after a red eye flight. I don't know how any of you voluntarily book a red eye flight and expect to walk off the airplane and be fully operational because the first thing that I did was run to Starbucks and drink half a venti iced coffee just to at least be able to speak enough to tell you where I am and what's going on. I am like so ready to pass out even right here in these very uncomfortable chairs. But uh, I just called the Wyndham once I walked off the flight, and they actually have a room for me already. Uh, it's a handicapped room, but at this point, even, as long as there's a bed, I'll be happy. So I'm looking forward to get a taxi and head to downtown Tampa. Let's go. Well, I found the sign to head to the taxis, but what I also found was a yet another Starbucks. Hmm, do I get another one, or do I just keep going? I'll just keep going. Once I got to the hotel and I took a nap, I talked to the producer of Daytime and then found out we actually had some problems with the segment. I had to call Galen and Sarah right away. Hi Galen, it's Bobby. I know you're in the air, but I just got off the phone with Deanna at Daytime. 
the makeover segment is a go. Everything's perfect. I told her that we're taking her to a salon. I told her that you have um, an HD camera and that I do too. And we're going to record the segment uh, at the salon tonight and then offer up the video to daytime to see if they want to cut it in as B-roll while we're talking. That's good to go. She loves the segment. Um, you are going to talk about the hair makeover and the clothes makeover. Sarah's going to do the luggage makeover. That's perfect. Um, as for my segment, my segment's going to go first. It's going to air on Friday. Um, I'm hoping that you brought your iPad because I don't have an iPad and um, the apps we're going to talk about, I can scroll through the apps on the iPad while I'm talking about it. I'm going to be, um, otherwise, I'm trying to figure out how to do this now. This is like a last minute wrench and everything because um, there's no way of actually showing the apps other than me talking about it and it's going to be easier if I can walk through the apps rather than just speaking about them. Uh, we might have to go out and buy an iPad and then go return it right after the segment. But anyway, I know you're in the air. It's uh, it's 2.20. You should be touching down any minute. I'm looking at the runway out the window. Give me a call when you get here. Bye. Hey Sarah, it's Bobby. Um, I know you're about to get on the air, um, but yeah. <laughs> I know. But listen, I'm sorry, but I have to tell you, um, I just talked to Deanna at daytime. We have a little problem. We never got a picture of Jenny's packed luggage before so that we can make it over on the air uh, tomorrow morning. So is there any way you can contact Jenny and see if we can get a copy to see if we can have her pack her luggage as if she was traveling somewhere and we can take a picture of it so I can email it to daytime tonight so this way they have it in the morning? Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, perfect. All right, Mike. Okay, so I'm a little bit perturbed at the moment. Um, I was just got off the phone with Galen. Luckily, he does have his iPad, so it's this segment, my segment, my travel app segment is going to be a complete go. I feel a little bit at ease now. But I am over here behind me throughout all of this. I've been watching CNN, and they just promoted this thing coming up next about a flight attendant opens up her suitcase and talks about tails from the jump seat. We weren't asked to do this. We all know airline baggage fees have caused many people to carry on their luggage, but how do you fit a whole trip's worth of stuff into one travel size bag? CNN is looking into the challenges facing air travelers today in a series that we call Fix My Flight. Today we have flying advice from the packing pro, a flight attendant. This is just a medium size rollerboard bag. It's awesome. I can take this on a seven day trip. The key to uh, travel is really just organizing. I always take a scarf with me when I'm traveling because it makes a great blanket on, on board the aircraft. I always put a couple uh, dryer sheets in in my luggage just to keep everything nice. And you could have did this so much better. I did my kindness of the day. What, what was do you that? call that? Your act of random kindness? Your random act of kindness. Random act of kindness. <laughs> I was sitting in the window seat very comfortably in the exit row and I noticed that there was a guy on the larger side, you know, squished in the middle. And so I offered him my window seat and I sat in the middle for the two hours. Oh, that wouldn't have been me. I know that. <laughs> I was going to ask your advice. I wouldn't have done it. I said, Bobby Laurie wouldn't do this. No. I'm going to do. I'm going to take it upon myself and do this for this man. <laughs> I would have stayed in the window seat, passed oh, out. No, honey, I know you would Because okay. last night, I, that's exactly what I was you doing. I was just out. the armrest. And I even did I wouldn't have taken hand. the armrest. No. The people in the middle, I'm very nice with the armrests. I at least leave my arms... Like, if the arm, middle armrest is there, I at you least move my arm slings, don't you? No, I don't have the sling. I put a video on my blog because I'm doing this uh, promotion for Hosiana Lingerie. Uh, okay. Not lingerie. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes it is. Lingerie. And I got a comment this morning that said, I thought this was a blog, capital letters for blog, capital letters for written word, not a podcast. Why do I care? Because I can read about four to five times as fast as you can talk. The blog space should not be cluttered with posts that are only podcasts. Uh, they have their own listings. If this is a block space, it ought to be written. Otherwise, I think my time is being wasted and or my chain yanked a bit. I think I've been had. If this oh. is not so, please explain. Thank you. I think tell this person him you've, is, you've tell been him fucking you. had. <laughs> you got it that right. Guy but like, do you know what the delete button is? Right. Or, or don't read the blog. Or you if you don't like it, don't read it. Don't read my blog or pay me so I can uh, blog. I had a comment from him too saying the same thing because I added the you podcast the link. It, I added all the podcast yeah. links to the top of the page. Yeah, this is when and he sent me either. the same thing. We'll see. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. Tune into the second episode to see what happens when we start the makeover and once we get to the TV studio. Thanks for watching.